Okay, there is something in this code that is not really all right. The first thing there is, well, um, you have a class and you're declaring a, a, a user name and you're passing like that. So that you're creating an object person using a class. That is good, but there is a syntax that we can, something we can improve in that syntax right there. But I'll show you that toward the end. The thing I want to show you here is, how would you solve this line? There is a function called keys of, okay? And that function there, it's supposed to return you the keys of the, the object person, right? So how would you write that exactly like this without having to uh, change the API or something like that? The API is basically saying you have a person and you just call keys off on it. It doesn't exist in JavaScript. There is a way to do that in JavaScript using object.keys. But here, as an interview question or just as a way to better understand JavaScript, how would you do that? Hey, by the way, that's part of the gems on the platform, right, that you can try. But let's try that here. Let's solve that here. So um, in a quick way, I'm going to show you a few examples on how you will do that. OK, so the first thing here is if this thing was just JavaScript and not TypeScript, this code here wouldn't show you a red the, the line right there, right? So you have that line there because that's TypeScript. And because that TypeScript, one way you can actually solve that is actually to use something like an interface. And you can just go ahead and say, hey, I'm gonna have an interface here and inside that interface, I'm gonna have something like a, a keys off. You see, right away, and uh, that thing is gone. However, if you pay attention, move a little bit here, it's still saying that that thing doesn't exist, that function doesn't exist. So how would you then make sure that that function exists? Well, um, you have it right there. Uh, the first thing you could do is to just go here and say uh, person dot key off and then implement uh, that function this way. So let me make sure that I, I'm not in the way, move right there and then now I have uh, uh, this function here. It's complaining because it doesn't return exactly what's, what's it uh, requested here. So here I can basically return this uh, and then it will give me uh, uh, the answer there. So I could actually also do this. But however, if I do this, you're going to see that, let me, let me make sure that this works really well. So we have, we have this syntax right there. And now uh, the, the, the keys off here, uh, it's basically uh, uh, not, not showing because you know I'm using arrow function here. So if I go with this instead, it works, right? So that's basically one thing I explained in one of my video, this idea of the this keyword right there. However, uh, in this example right now, you basically say, hey, I, I add a function keys off into this and uh, it just says object.keys and return that thing there. And then you can clearly see that it, it gives us the information. But now keys off is part of the keys. It's part of person, right? There is probably a different way we could go about it and make sure that keys off becomes available. And then it's not actually part of the object person, right? At least not at the first level. How do you think we could do that? That's an open question for you. I'm gonna put myself here and look at you and say, how would you solve this? So that is another level of exercises you get on, on the GEMS platform. But here I'm gonna give you a quick hint and then I will show you how to solve uh, the, uh, the problem of, of creating a class at the top there. Move here. So what we're going to do is basically uh, use a different approach, which says instead of keys of being part of the object right here, we could actually put it on the prototype, right? So if you do this, um, then you get uh, a different uh, option. But then when I say prototype, I need to put it on the person prototype right there. So from the moment I do that, you see, the username is only the, the, the only keys available here and the function key off isn't visible right there anymore. You got it? Okay, so that's basically a, a, a way you could implement that. If you have different ways to approach it, let's show me right there. And last thing before we move, I, I tell you before we leave, is this idea of creating a class and having a constructor right here. So in TypeScript, 
if you do this, if you write it this way, you actually don't need to do this because by just putting it right there, you're kind of uh, uh, making it available and there else. And uh, it's not done. I don't even need this because I could just go here and then make it this one public. But making it public, there you go. This entire thing, it's, it's, it's exactly the same syntax. The public part is a way to basically say, hey, let's create a variable called username and assign it and the constructor that username right there. Okay, I hope this was clear and, and fun. Yeah, there are a lot of exercises like that on the GEMS platform and you know what? You should give it a try. You should. And if you haven't subscribed, okay, bye.